Olaparib is probably the the PARP inhibitor for which we have the most data right now in prostate cancer. Um, it was studied in the, uh, the two PARP A study um, by Johan de Bono's group. It was very exciting, um, published a few years ago, and, and there's ongoing studies with Olaparib and with combinations with Olaparib. So um, in that study, at least, uh, men were uh, selected to in be included in the study as long as they had undergone actually multiple prior therapies and were, were, um, were really sort of treatment refractory at this point. They underwent biopsies before being treated with Olaparib, and then they were followed and um, they were assessed for PSA response and for progression. Um, and in this study, for patients who had DNA repair defects, and this was looked at after they were already on the drug, um, I believe the response rate was around 88%, and response included, um, was mostly based on PSA response um, in, in this study. But that's a really high response rate, very exciting, um, higher than we would expect in a regular clinical trial, and there wasn't a randomization. This was a single arm study. Um, patients who did not have DNA repair defects didn't seem to respond in that way. All of the patients who had BRCA2 uh, mutations did appear to respond. So, um, so these were all really exciting things. And so Olaparib in prostate cancer, at least, is, is pretty far along in its, in its development and, and its um, initiation into further clinical trials. And the other PARP inhibitors are on their way, um, but that's the Olaparib data. Yeah.